Hey, what's going on, YouTube? This is David Thompson. I'm gonna be talking about the air element or wind, however you want to say it. All right, the air element is associated with thought. So if you're reading your tarot cards or you're just doing Wicca or any kind of magic and you're trying to manifest something and you're using uh, symbols or you're using idols if you want wind how do you recreate that if a magician was doing something with wind you would want to get a feather you can see the association there even though it's not actual wind but you get it right so okay if you're, you're doing your tarot cards like I said it's associated with your thoughts your thinking at the end of this cycle, at the end of when I once the next video, of course, is gonna be fire. I'm gonna explain it how this matters to the physical body and your life, and how it could dramatically change you all together. But how would you use the the air element? What would you use it for? The air element is an active energy. It's very uh, erotic uh, and spontaneous. You really can't stop it. It speaks for itself. With the combination of fire, uh, you, you can get some passion going. Even though I'm not gonna say any more about fire, but you can really get things going. You know, it's like uh, higher intelligence works with the air. Like if if you're doing things, I mean, there's a whole bunch of different spiritual practices. So I don't want to really get into it, but uh, if you're using air to manifest a certain characteristic in yourself or something else, uh, it would be helpful if it was for intelligence, higher intelligence, and that can go with the psyche, or you can even go that with psychic work, because higher intelligence also goes with um, the third eye right because if you say psychic it's, it's just the psyche being used to the highest extent people always think that psychic work is like some crazy phenomenon and it's actually not it's just using your mind to the highest extent so yeah the air element is really really good a lot of people use the air element to heal also because like I said it's, it's passive it's sending not receiving so uh yeah a lot of people need to get their air element under control i mean most of us do that's why we meditate that's why we do our yoga that's why we go to the gym to calm that wind down that's cycling around in our mind thumbs up or a thumbs down if you feel so leave any comments below if you have anything to ask go ahead feel free my next video of course is going to be the fire element and thank you for watching please subscribe i'll see you on the next one